They walked 155 miles to change the mind of Governor Walker, but they did not get the meeting they wanted. Hundreds of Menominee tribal members filled the state capitol rotunda and upper floors. They had flags, banners, and signs. They were hoping that this last-ditch effort would be enough to make the governor reconsider the proposed Kenosha Casino. And back in Kashina, 12 News was there to get a first-hand look at why the tribe was pushing so hard to make that casino a reality. We are caretakers and we only are borrowing this from our children. So there's a, a give and take with how we go forward and actually provide for ourselves yet still hang on to a good world for our children. Gary Besaw is the Menominee Tribal Chair, representing 8,900 members, about half living on the reservation. We have the largest land base east of the Mississippi River. That land base, a reservation with boundaries identical to Menominee County, has the sad distinction of being the poorest county in the state. The tribe was betting on Kenosha to help meet tribal needs for housing, for education, for health care. As far as Kenosha, the, the land, the project, what do they say? It's not over until the fat lady sings? Well, I haven't heard any singing yet. We, we may or may not have other options yet, in, including litigation. Besaw says the tribe negotiated in good faith and put the bonding offer for the Milwaukee Arena on the table last October 30th. They would not discuss it. They removed it. It was the, at their discretion and option. We tried to keep it in, and we even gave options. We said it was important. They removed it. So when he says that... That doesn't jive with reality. Besaw describes the negotiations with the governor's office as lacking good faith. In addition, he says the Potawatomi demands did not reflect the shared values of Native people. The dollar has, has changed them. They don't follow those teachings of their grandmas and grandpas anymore. The dollar has changed them, distorted them, and we're told to pray for them. That hopefully someday they can, they can come back to being real, real Indians, real humans again. So we asked about Menominee efforts to limit Ho Chunk expansion plans in Beloit. When Hitch told us, uh, no, remove that, we removed it. Today is deadline day, and as the time for agreement passes, Besaw says this is more than a missed opportunity. This is a once in a lifetime. We'll never see. An offer like this for Wisconsin again? Never. We'll share much more of our trip to Kashina on Friday night at 10, including why the tribe had decided not to pay members any kind of annual dividend from casino earnings.